Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at some mixed power problems. Um, so just these three examples that I'll be looking at today. So the first thing uh, to understand is that, you know, you've been working with um, powers of powers, which means you, when you have powers of powers, you just multiply them. So in my first question here, what I've got is c to the power of 3 over 2, uh, and then that's been raised to the power of 2. So just remember that anytime you have a, a letter or a number by itself, uh, it also has a power, um, but it actually has a power of 1. So for the first question, what I'm going to get is c to the power of 3 times 2, and then I'm going to have 2 to the power of 1 times 2. So simplifying this, I'm going to get c to the power of 6 over 2 to the power of 2. Uh, I can simplify it further, which means I get c to the power of 6 over 4. So that's basically number 1. So question number two pretty much is going to be the same kind of idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find all the um, numbers and letters inside the brackets and I'm going to put them without a power. I'm going to put them as to the power of one. Okay, that's one way to actually do this. Now, this particular question, there's, a, there's quite a number of ways of doing this. Um, and I'm going to show you the long method first and then I'll show you guys the short method as well. So this is the long method right now. So what I've got is 8 to the power of 1. Um, and then because it's being raised to the power of 2, so I'm going to have 8 to the power of 1 times 2, x to the power of 0 0.5 times 2. And the whole thing is divided by 2 to the power of 1 times 2, and then x to the power of 1 times 2. So what I've got here is 8 um, to the power of 2. x to the power of 0.5 times 2 is just 1 and then 2 to the power of 2, and then x, 1 times 2 is x squared. Simplifying this, I've got 8 squared, which is 64, x to the power of 1 is just x, 2 squared is 4, x squared, well, that just stays as is, x squared. At this point, I know what 64 divided by 4 is, so I can replace it with 16, and then x, remember that x is to the power of 1, which means those two cancel out, which is where x is remaining at the bottom. So my final answer ends up being 16 over 6. Now this is the long way of doing it. The short way of doing it is simplifying the bracket inside first. So let me just show you guys how to do the kind of the short way here. So what you have is you've got 8x 0.5 over 2x and then this is squared. So the first thing you can do is you can actually um, get rid of the 8 and 2 um, and just replace it with 4. And also you've got x to the power of 0 0.5 at the numerator and in the denominator you actually have x to the power of positive 1. So 0.5 minus 1 is going to be x to the power of negative 0.5. So remember that, well, let me just show you guys how to get that negative 0.5. So you can actually go 0 0.5 minus 1 squared and then this ends up being 4x to the power of negative 0.5 squared and of course because it has a negative power um, only the x gets taken down to the denominator so it'll become x to the power of 0 0.5 squared and now you can actually square it so you've actually got remember that 4 has a 1 to the power of 1 which I'm going to put here which means I've got 4, um, 1 times 2 is just 2, and then x to the power of 0 0.5 times 2 is 1. And simplifying this, you're going to get 16 over x. Now, I know I said it's a shorter way, but um, I kind of just expanded a bit. Like, I did a couple of extra steps, which I don't really need to. OK, so that's um, question number 2. And then let's have a look at question number 3. So with question number three, what you have is, let's move that a little bit around. So question number three, it follows the same procedures. So what I'm going to do is not that. Let me see if I can actually get out of this. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the numbers and I'm going to put them to the power of one. So M is going to have a power of one, N is going to have a power of one, and negative two is going to have a power of one as well. 
Now, just be mindful that that negative um, in front of the two, actually, we're gonna deal it with where it actually belongs to the two. So in other words, I'm gonna rewrite this as, um, as negative two inside the bracket. So I'm gonna put a bracket inside of negative two. So basically putting, a, putting it like this. So then what I have is one uh, times two, and then I've got m of one times two, n of three times two, the whole thing is over m squared times 2 and n to the power of 1 times 2. So what I've got is negative 2 squared, m squared, n to the power of 6, and then m to the power of 4, and n squared. So simplifying this, negative 2 squared is 4. m squared, there's an m squared on top, m to the power of 4 at the bottom, which means I can cancel out and replace it with m squared at the denominator. So that's going to be m squared. And as for the n6 over n squared, I can cancel this squared and replace this with a 4, which means the final answer is going to be 4n to the power of 4 over m squared. So that's one way of doing it. Um, the other way you could do it is actually simplify the brackets inside. So you could have actually done negative 2 to the power of 1. Uh, actually, not. let's just leave it as negative 2. Um, but I'm gonna get rid of the m1 and m. Let me just write that question down so I can actually work around it. So I've got negative two m n cubed over m squared n, and the whole thing is squared. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave negative two as it is, but for the m, I can cancel m out and leave it with one m in the denominator. So it'll look like this. And then n squared over, n cubed over n will end up being n squared in the numerator which will look like this, and that's actually being squared. So what I've got is negative two squared, n to the power of four over m, m times um, m to the power of two. So negative two squared is equal to four, so then I get four n to the power of four over m squared. So yeah, so that's basically um, what it is with mixed powers problems. Sorry, I know you, I probably just went through that really quickly, but there's question three again. So yeah, that's basically it, guys, uh, for this short little video. Um, as always, thank you for watching, and don't forget to like uh, this video and share this video. Of course, the big one. Don't forget to subscribe to get more videos like this. Thank you for watching.